What's up guys? Today I have an iPhone 12 and I'll be discussing 12 different issues with the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro and then I'll be giving you the solutions if you are running into those problems. So the <clears throat> the first thing is sometimes it shows no SIM or invalid SIM error on iPhone 12. So you know where it's showing LTE, it shows no SIM or invalid SIM. So just a simple solution, you know, you can perform, confirm that your SIM card is active and ready to use so that you can confirm with your carrier. And then you can try activating aeroplane mode and enable and disable it. And the other thing you can do is take the SIM, SIM card out and do the physical examination you know if it's damaged or anything and put the sim with the sim tray back in the phone and then restart your phone and should be good to go yeah lots of people they complain about this and another thing you can do is in the iphone 12 there is a e-sim option available as well so you can request your carrier to have e-sim so that way you don't have that problem and at the end you can check the if there's any software update is available please do that and that will solve your problem too so second thing is face id not working with iphone 12. this problem started especially when people upgraded to updated to ios 16. so to fix that problem you go in settings go to face id and passcode the simple thing is you know most of the people if they will set face id if you press here it will solve your problem and another thing when you reset it and then you want to set it up again so you got to make sure your camera is or sensor is not facing you know right towards the light that can cause this problem too and also you can do one more thing when you're setting up this face id make sure you delete all the all the face id you have saved on it so reset everything and then you know set it up again you should be good to go so the third option i mean the issue is iphone 12 having 12 and 12 pro that that is audio issue remember that it's temporary problem and super easy to fix within a couple of steps press the ringer button left the phone above the volume to um, upward to activate sounds you know sometimes it's mute and people think then audio issue but apple has admitted that you know some of the iphones they had, they had this uh, audio issue especially they were manufactured between October 2020 and April 2021 and Apple says that it, it might not emit sound from the receiver when you make or receive calls it may be eligible for service so for service you can go to Apple website and book an appointment and that should solve your problem but that's genuine problem but not all of them some some of the sets they have this problem now the next thing is you know a Bluetooth issue and that's the most annoying issue in iPhone 12. To f especially when you're using it with the like third party device. So the simple thing is, you know, turn the Bluetooth off on both devices and turn it back on and try to bring the both devices close enough. And if the if it still doesn't solve your problem, you can reboot your devices and should be good to go. The next thing is Wi-Fi connection problem with the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. Now, again, to fix the Wi-Fi problem, you have to do the same thing. Turn off airplane mode, restart the device. And another thing you can do is you go to settings, you go to Wi-Fi, and you see the list here, you, 
you know let's say I'm connected to this so you go to press here at I and forget this network so once you do that and you want to reconnect to the same network it will ask you the password you put the password in and then you should be good to go and if, if the problem still persists you can check your router is powered on you know restart the router and it should be okay after doing that now the next problem is with iPhone 12 the hotspot issues so if you're having this problem with the hotspot you know again you, you have to try the simple step especially you disable low data mode and you go to settings go to cellular use the toggle to disable enable personal hotspot and enter the network password for the other device so make sure you enter this password and you double check your password and it should be good to go and if the problem is still not solved you can go to settings general and go all the way down where it says shutdown sorry Okay, where it says transfer or reset so when it says reset and reset network settings and if you do that it should solve your problem and number seven is lte and 5g issues sometimes when you change location or live in a closed society it gets difficult for your iphone to provide the lte or 5g internet you can Resolve this by enabling and disabling the airplane mode, restarting device, and reinserting the SIM card. So these are three simple steps you can try, and it should solve your problem. And the fourth thing you can do is, again, if you just reset your network setting, then you should not have that problem. And the next issue is number eight, iCloud issue. Now there are multiple iCloud issues that iPhone users might experience. The most common problem include data sync, authentication, storage, and verification. So usually people run into this problem because they don't have enough storage available. So uh, Apple gives you five gigabytes and once it's full, that's when the problem starts and people start complaining that it's not syncing with iCloud and all that. Now, number nine is discoloration of the iPhone's body. The exciting part about iPhone 12 is its color variants. You get several options from red to blue to green, standard black, and many more. However, some users might see discoloration despite taking relevant measures. And that could be exposure to sunlight, poor quality cover, and water contact or the leading causes of discoloration if your iPhone 12 is discolored but is still under warranty, book a, you can book an appointment with Apple and they should be able to solve your problem. Now, number 10 is iTunes and App Store. Now, this is most mostly it's a, it's a software glitch. And that happens when you did not update your software to the latest version. And once you do that, it should be okay. And also you check the internet connection to faster mode and stable one, restart your device. And after that, it should be good to go. Now, number 11 is fast battery drain on this model. And as I said earlier, especially after you updated to iOS 16. So over time and constant use the battery inside your iPhone 12 may start to deteriorate and that's just unstoppable. However, excessive usage might lead to faster battery drainage. So change, change your iPhone charger if you f feel your iPhone isn't holding up the charge as before, especially if you use a third party charger. You can also contact the Apple Store Booking Appointment for a battery replacement. If you think your battery is draining like 
really fast and the maximum capacity is dropped below 80 then you might want to consider changing the battery last but then the least uh, issue is number 12 is overheating issues so most iPhones tend to overheat now and then especially under heavy workloads sometimes it can also overheat because using an airtight cover exposure to sunlight or generally being in a room and in a significantly less ventilation and especially in the Middle East or you know, if you live in Florida, yeah, this problem can happen to your iPhone 12 or 12 Pro. And beside that, you know, sometimes some app can interfere with your phone software. And so the, the best thing is, you know, you might want to factory reset your phone and then check if it's uh, overheating constantly or not. But that should solve your problem. That's it for today and see you next video.